Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Chimes here again making another quick video. It's gonna be two videos in one night. It's pretty good. Uh, what we have here is a cover four beater that I just uh, figured out. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna kind of break it down so I'm gonna reset the play. We're in PA post shot yet again. Um, all we're gonna do is put out route on the two insides. Uh, two in Put out routes on the two inside receivers, and then we're going to motion out uh, our X receiver on that post route. We're not going to smart route it. We're going to leave it uh, there. And then we're also going to leave Adams on the crosser because it's not that important. And if he uses the um, post route, then we can throw either the crosser or the out route. kind of becomes a high-low concept on the left side. So uh, we're just going to snap it, and we're going to show you. So you see how the out routes keep the safeties down. Then we can bomb it right over the top. And get the completion. <clears throat> so the the out routes on the two slot receivers are gonna keep these. No, I can't highlight them. But the two top safeties are gonna come down because they feel like there's nothing over the top that they need to guard. So when these safeties stay down, Scantling uh, sneaks behind them. Like you see right there, and it's out of range. He might catch up to this. No, he probably didn't. I probably could have caught it. I just tried to user it, but um, let me do it one more time, and then I'm gonna get into another version of the cover four beater. You can cover four beat um uh, a lot of ways out of this uh, play. There's about three ways that you can do it. So we're just gonna lob it right there, and that's perfect. And I think that was my fault. On the user catch I'm gonna just let it do its thing I've been doing this a lot I was labbing this for like an hour trying to see how I can beat cover four so um, I set out of range I'm just gonna click on and get the catch so uh, as you can see uh, I got two touchdowns uh, now we're gonna go over the other way and it's very simple you do it the same way but you don't motion them out and what's going to happen is he's going to be covered in the middle, but you have to wait for him to cross that last deep safety, and then you pass lead it to the right. And that's another way to beat it. So this way might be a little more efficient, uh, because simply because the post looks like it's going to be covered at first. And so he's going to come down, and he's going to try to use or something else if he ends up using the post. But the crosser should keep him contained. He should, he'll probably play the post at first and then come down and guard the crosser. But uh, if he doesn't, then, I mean, he's not going to follow it all the way because it, it looks covered the whole time. He's, never, he's not going to follow it. The only, the only one that he would follow is this one. And this one's you're really risky. You need, a, you need a touchdown in one play. This is what you would do because you're not going to score a touchdown with the other cover four beater. This is the one you're going to score the touchdown with. I mean, I, I got a weird animation right there, but it, this is this is your touchdown one. The one where you don't motion out is the one where you just need a consistent little, well, consistent big gain that you know is going to work. And so we're just going to wait, and then he crosses his face, and then you lob it, and then there's your touchdown. So that's how you beat cover four. I'm going to show one more way. It this way This way is not that good. But I'm going to keep the out route right there. And what you're going to see, that out route is going to make the outside corner kind of hesitate. And he's going to stay a little lower, allowing this to be... This is not completed very much. I'm probably not going to ever run this in a game. But um, it's it's not very good, as you can see. I'll try it until I get a completion. But it's, it's, it's not very effective, to be honest. Um... It's possible, like you're gonna see right here, this is gonna get caught, he drops it, but you see it, it's it's possible to get caught. But, I mean, it's, it's risky, it's really risky, and it's not worth it when, when you have other better cover four beaters. So you see, I caught it. You can beat cover four out of it, if you really want to. Um, but to me, it's just not, not that effective. 
it's really not worth the risk. Uh, right here, it's probably going to get deflected. It's got under so to see. It's not the best. So now with that being said, we're going to go to another zone beater. Um, this this might actually be the best zone beater out of this formation. PA post shot, you're going to be able to bomb the coverages. Uh, this play called Mesh Spot right here, it looks very familiar to uh, Gun Bunch's little um, Mesh Post wheel route. It's very similar to that. So it's a, it's a popular wheel route. And we're going to come out and cover three. And very, very simple um, type of deal. It's just like Gun Bunch. You're going to have an out route. You're going to motion them out. And then the curl flat's going to follow that. And then you're going to have a, a dot right over here. And it's a super good, consistent. Uh, you can use this in the red zone. Uh, we're going to do it again. I'm going to actually put a flat right here because... Um, uh, what's it called? It's just as good. And if anything, he follows it a little more. Especially in the red zone, you're going to want to put a flat route instead of uh, an out route. I'm going to go to the red zone right now for you guys just to see it. Um, go up here. And we're going to put the flat route. And this and this and this. So this is um, this is why this is really good as well. Uh, you've seen in my previous videos, I motion this guy a lot at the goal line in the red zone, and um, this blends in with that because you're gonna want to motion him out uh, at the goal line. The curl flat is going to follow it, and then okay, that's a horrible example because I didn't really do it right, and somehow EA let me catch that. But um. This is a little harder to run at the goal line, I'll say. It's not the best, but uh, it's possible. So, you can see right here. It's a really tight throw. I wouldn't really run it at the goal line. What I would do at the goal line is I'd go over to PA post shot, throw a hitch, throw a hitch, and I'd motion snap, and I'd throw the little one. That's what I would do at the goal line. Now, say you're at the 10 yard line, this is where this play is really useful. As at the 10, 10 yard line, you can't really run that hitch, and since red zone is really hard for this offense, um, when you're in the red zone like this, it's, it's really hard to throw dots, to be honest. So, that's why this play is so good, because watch, you're going to be able to throw the dot. You'll get to the 1 yard line, and then you can use that other goal line pass or fullback dive whatever you want to do uh, we'll do it again We're actually gonna streak in this time um, so I want to show you guys that this can actually go you can actually throw this uh, to the back of the end zone so I want to see if I can get that example for you guys let me see uh, it's kind of difficult but if you have enough time, you can do it. Perfect example right there. So you have two windows to throw this, and that means the user is probably, once again, going to bounce off of it. Just like, uh, just like the cover four beater. He's probably gonna bounce off of it to cover the crosser. And um, after this play, I'm gonna back it up again to show you guys a little bit more. Uh, zone beaters out of this mesh spot play. This is really, really good against cover three and cover four. So we're going to back it up. I'm going to show you guys against cover three right now. Back it up to the 25. So the X route smart routed looks really good right off the bat. <clears throat> and then what you're going to do on this side is you're going to run that normal route combo that I just mentioned. So we're going to put the out route right there, motion them out, and then you go over here. I played that completely wrong, to be honest. I needed to wait like a half, like a little bit more. So. Motion snap. Marlon Humphreys being a jerk. 
So, I mean, it's a high low on that side. So, if Marlon Humphrey is going to play that deep, obviously, you can just hit this. I was just seeing if I could force it in there. Obviously, you can't. I just I just tried. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can, you can mix in this wheel route. Remember, you still have this wheel route. Ooh. And then you can actually work the other side of the field just as effectively. So that's what's really cool about this play is you can mix in this in route too. So much diversity in this offense. Uh, you mix the in route in right there when <clears throat> when the user is bouncing around from sideline to sideline, and um, you really want to take advantage of of that user where he's going. Uh, this this uh, this route right here is still gonna get open. Uh, it won't get as open. You'll have to take like you'll have to accept like six or seven yards because it's not gonna get much more separation than after the cut because the hook curl is gonna be able to pick it up. Um, so yeah, I didn't even motion out right there. But as you saw, the the hook curl on the right side is gonna go out and play that wheel route. It's gonna make it a really tight window throw. So uh, yeah. If you want to throw the wheel route, keep the streak, and you have you have the ability to work both sides of the field. And I'm actually going to throw that all the way across the field to my running back. Now we're going to go run the same play in cover four, and we're not going to worry about cover two because cover two obviously we're going to use PA post shot. So this is where I really like to throw the X route. That's where this, the corner, the inside or the outside third in cover three covers it a lot better than the outside quarter in cover four for whatever reason. It makes no sense in my brain, but that's how it works. I don't know, <clears throat> but uh, you can throw it every time. Or not because Marlon Humphrey is a really good corner who just wants to be a jerk all the time. But uh, there we go. So it's kind of a tight window throw. I mean, yeah, I guess it is. But zone cover four, it's gonna be a tight window throw no matter where you go. Pretty much, it's really. A really good zone. I actually run cover four most of the time. Huh, it actually gets open. So that flat route isn't super important, uh, but I would say to put it out there anyways instead of a hitch because the hook curl is just, is just going to pick up the hitch anyways. I'm actually going to try to not smart it route it this time, and we're going to see if that plays any better. Something I was noticing on this side too is watch Devontae Adams when I motion step him out. You can hit that immediately. And you'll pick up some decent yards doing that. But we're going to go back to the corner route and see what we can do about that. <laughs> All right, we're not smarter routing it. And we're putting a streak on this side. And doing that, obviously, Tay is going to be wide open. Uh, so that actually kind of helps beat cover four because now... He's leaving my flat route way more. He just jumped on it so freaking fast. What the heck? It got bumped. I think my X route got bumped, and that caused Marlon Humphrey to feel free to come down and guard it. Okay. And since he's going to do that, if Marlon Humphrey immediately comes down and plays it like that, just know that you have a dot on the outside of the field. Um, this, is, this is what your player is going to look like. It's gonna be a good throw every time. <clears throat> As you can see, you can beat zone pretty easily. You can beat man extremely easily. You can score a touchdown every play against man, so that's not really an issue. Um, throw it every time, and then cover two. I'll show you guys. 
just because we're kind of going over how to beat every zone in the game. I'll, I'll show you guys um, how to beat cover two. Tampa two. Uh, it's extremely simple. It's literally the same exact route combo as your man beater. And your cloud flat is just going to abandon it, and you're going to throw a dot right there. And then you're going to run up the sidelines, probably for a touchdown, but I didn't get the touchdown right there. But if you wait a little longer, it's actually going to get open. Um, <clears throat> just nobody runs cover two and online, because it's so dotable. Um, that's why I don't really lag much for it, because... But obviously, as you can see, if you throw it a little bit later, you'll get behind the deep half. I got a toe tap animation on the sidelines right there. Uh, but yeah, you can just do this against it every single time. Uh, if you want to, you can throw the wheel route out there to actually suck down the cloud flat even faster. Uh, of course, it glitches. Of course, it glitches, but you see, you see the point. We're actually going to leave those two like that and then we're gonna throw a zig route let's say we really want really really want a touchdown and it's cover two and you're just gonna suck down the cloud flat wait until he gets back there and go out of bounds again because i can't turn a field right because valdez scantling is not very agile so you can leave it um not smart routed i believe i don't think it really matters if anything it might be better looks like it's actually kind of better doesn't really matter um, I would say to smart route it just because it seems like you can get the ball in your hands and then you can make a move to make that safety miss if you want to rather than just getting ah you see right there finally got behind the deep half and I caught it so um, that's how you beat cover two and then for the sake of just having fun I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys man coverage again We're going to put Devontae Adams back at receiver for this. And 55 odd. Cover one Robert Press. This is a very common uh, man coverage play. So it looks like the, the middle linebacker right here is going to be the one manned up on him. Which tells me it's already a touchdown. Because you can see there's nobody on Devontae Adams who's going to like bump him. Or anything like that. So he's going to get a free release and he's just going to go right away. Yep. My own tight end bumped me. My own tight end bumped me, but it's really important to have that tight end on a streak to occupy the middle the middle third. So you're just going to kind of... Uh, let me see if it happens again. And if it happens, it kind of happened again, but not really. I was going to say I'm going to put a different speed tight end in because it... it really, Wow, Patrick Queen. It really all matters about the speed of the tight end and the mesh. So, for whatever reason, the outside linebacker switches sides, which I'm going to experiment with that. Bumped into the t Okay, so I'm going to call a timeout right here, and I'm going to make two adjustments. We're going to try out a run right now. Seeing that makes me want to try out a run that I'm about to try. I'm about to try the counter. Because for some reason, um, so we're gonna sub in Tanyan, then what defense was that? Oh, it was cover one, Robert. God, dude, I didn't make the audible. Let me just see if he'll do the same thing. Is he going to switch sides? So he does switch sides. It makes me think this counter is going to be really good against this. This counter usually isn't very good. And it's still not good because I get shedded. <sighs> so frustrating that you just can't run out of this formation. I mean, I have the numbers and everything. Let me see if, like, ID or something. Believe it or not, that's a pretty good run for this formation. <sighs> but, um... Yeah, so now we have a different speed tight end in. We're going to see if that changes the mesh of it. Um, 
Yeah, that completely changes the mission. You're gonna see that he just get wide open now. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm not gonna put the streak out there this time. I'm just gonna leave the drag and I'm just gonna leave this not routed. And the middle third is probably going to end up playing this. He doesn't. So. I thought he'd play it a little closer. But he probably got to, gets he probably gets a little occupied by the crosser in the middle of the field. So um, I guess you can just leave the drag if you're so confident that it's man coverage. Uh, I would leave the streak out there though, just in case it is cover two man. He has a deep half because you can't really tell if it's going to be cover one, cover two, and this thirty-five odd look. So I, I would still leave the streak out there, but. I mean, as you can see, it, it just destroys it. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.